Hello there. Uh, now we are going to discuss how we can add bleeds um, in Photoshop. So for this I just make a rough document. Let's say this is a document uh, 8.5 by 11 which is I think A4 size so this is the canvas size we have and we would like to add bleeds marks on it so it's uh, it's a very simple way but uh, um, for a big no it's tough to you know because there are, there is no you can say command or a a proper uh, you can say a, a, a tool in Adobe which will allow you to make blades uh, like you do in Illustrator or in Design. So for this, we have to uh, use a uh, a manual way. And for this manual way, we just, for example, this is a for sheet, and this is your design, and you would like to add blades to it. It could be a, any sort of design. But I'm using a blank screen for an example. So, step four. Next thing I need to do is I have to open rulers, view. These are the rulers, you can see them. So, I will place these rulers on the edges of, uh, sorry, I will place these rulers on the edges of uh, the document and just simply I'm just dragging and dropping them so there is no you know, complex uh, uh, thing so this these are the rulers of the grid I place on the four sides now I will place the blade or I will add the blade to uh, the document dimension so I will go in file and I will check the uh, File, I will see. Let me see where is the Oh yeah, I have to go in and you have to go in image and you will see there is a uh, uh, option with the name of canvas size. You know, click on it, you will see this window. Now I would like to add bleeds uh, within this uh, uh, canvas size. So standard bleed is 0.125. So when I add a 0.125 in 8.5, it will be equal. To, it will be equal to roundabout like. Uh, Point uh, to uh, point seven five by point two five. So this is the point two five uh, margin I added to this document. So I just press OK. Now you will see the canvas size is extended from all the side, sides. Let me zoom it so you can see it clearly. Let me undo it so you can see the difference. So I just undo it. Now this is before the exact canvas size. And when we go in image, then we change the canvas size, then it will become uh, like this so this is the point to five margin I have just added and this here I have to just simply place a sh I can pick a shape and I can just you know you can say I can just drag a sorry I can just drag a I can use a pen tool you know and I select a shape pen tool or okay we can try pen tool uh, there is a line tool also we can try this too so sorry here is a line tool 
and I just use this drag and drop it now you can see there is a line so I have to again drag and drop here so this is uh, uh, the blade mark you have to do this same thing on all four sides of this document and uh, you can press uh, you can see you can hide the grade this grade to see how the blade mark looks like see these are the blade marks so this is how you place bleed marks in a document so you can uh, this is a simple elemental way to do it in adobe photoshop but in illustrator and in design uh, there is they are more simple and more easy to place these blade marks especially when you're making a brochure with 10 pages 20 pages 50 100 pages you can place the blade within with one command basically adobe has a software which is used for photo treatment not for brochures or not for documents but sometimes designers use this software for a single page flyer or a pamphlet so when they send the file to a printer the printer will ask to place the blade so this is how we place the blade on a canvas size so if you have any questions feel free to ask and have a nice day bye bye